end. So I can actually say... I noticed there was a main. Yeah, there was a static main there. So I can actually say... Uh, and cheat. If you remember, <coughs> in addition to Activity Manager, some of you in your code may have accessed the Package Manager as well. So if you do Package Manager list packages from the command line, you'll see here's all the, all the apps that are installed, both user apps and system apps. But I can also say Package Manager have um, SR105 wireless details, and that'll tell me the path to where Android has the APK file for my app. Now the reason I'm showing you this is, you see that dash one on the end? When you install debug apps via um, ADB running through Studio, it puts a, like a dash one on the end, and then the next time you run, it makes it a dash two, and then it flips back and forth. So it's just something to be aware of. So I'm gonna say export class path equals that class app process, it doesn't really matter where I run this from, but I'll say system bin. Then I'll say com sr105 wireless details dot hello world hard. Hello world hard. So it'll actually take your app, like a jar file, grab that class, and call it static main. Now I didn't do anything truly useful here, I just printed out a text message, or a message to the screen. But in our app in production, um, I think, but can you uh, can you attach to running processes, or is it always going to start a new process? It always starts a new process. Um, so if you wanted to interact with the running process, it would have to be through some sort of file mechanism or something. Panera might disable some SSH though. No, but I SSH that already. Maybe they're blocking the port. Um, actually, maybe I can just do it here. Four zero one seven. All right, so I am actually on one of our devices. This is the one on my desk. And if I go to SD card, we have a bin directory. And do you need any, do you need connection? Um, Are you gonna share a screen or anything? Yeah, I need to share a screen. I could probably Which just plug into whatever I've been using. Do you need HDMI? Um, I've got it. Oh, lightning to HDMI. Yeah, okay. yeah. I've got. I left my HDMI adapter at work, but I have the lightning to VGA right here. Okay. Because you said that it's got VGA. Yes. If you want to come start so getting set up, that's we have multiple, many, many threads in our app, and we actually have more than one process in our app, and we have an internal ZMQ socket set up that we use for inter-process inter communication. Networking. You can take this what this? Uh, oh, let me show you what it oh, says. Yeah, first. I think you probably did. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So, I'm setting some environment variables here that you can't see because Scott's not. Mm -hmm. But uh, effectively, you'll notice I'm calling app process. I'm setting some flags that we need, some pound defines. Basically, you know the uh, like system uh, environment that you can get to in Java. I'm setting some variables there, and then I'm calling this com rdm, eventually event eavesdropper class and passing arguments. And what that'll do is it, send, it starts up, it <coughs> sends a network connection to our uh, internal IPC, and now I'm connected to the running app, and I'm, get, I'm watching all of the events that are passing back between all of our threads in different components of our app. I can also inject events this way. So this is the real world reason why you would want to do that hello world thing, is the ability to maybe send a broadcast intent um, to your app to tell it to do something different. Um, 
it probably isn't super practical for like when you're doing apps through an app store, but if you're doing embedded devices and you want to log in and debug on a device, <coughs> this allows us to watch what's happening. I can post events into the system to trigger something to happen ahead of schedule. So. All right. Any questions? That. Um, if you want to go into Carl's cards, I'll put them over here. Can this stuff out.